I love discovering new Asian grocery stores. You know why? Because every one of them always offers up something different that you've never seen before. Like this. This looks delicious. Instant coffee mix? I've never heard of this. It's uh, Vietnamese instant coffee mix. You know, I'm getting one of these babies. I know Ludette's going to love this. Look at this, babe. Viennese instant coffee mix. Mm, right? All right, we're gonna Let's get try this one. What is this? Baby is hungry. Hungry for what? They look like hungry for adult sex toys. Is that to eat or play with? It's to eat. Is that what you want? Here's my problem with you buying something like this. There's a lot of it. You eat one, you don't like it. I'm stuck eating the rest of these adult toys. So, no. All right, let's check out the rest of this place. There's always a produce section. Let's see what they got here. Short form bananas, gigantic, well, these are Mexican papayas. Not quite Asian papayas, which I really don't know the difference is, so. Nice and cold in this section, which feels great. Get sitting around here in Vegas. And uh, I'm also looking for things a little bit different, right? Like things like jackfruit. We're very rarely going to be able to find jackfruit in a typical American style grocery store. Ah, things like this, lily root, right? You rarely ever see that. Most people don't recognize the form of that, but if you kind of turn outside, you ever seen that? Yeah, you've seen that. They used to serve that in like Asian dishes. And long green beans, so long they gotta wrap it around like it's rope. So, ooh, yeah, some good stuff here. Nice. Corn, celery, yeah, it's all typical. I do wanna get something that's just a little bit different. Um, you know what? I'm gonna buy some dill. Baby dill, because this you can make with fish and a bunch of stuff. You can freeze it too, so it can last a long time. The flavor kicks ass. And while I'm getting that, I'm gonna get me some chives. Perhaps some yellow chives. Yeah, wanna do that, John? Let's do that. Let's get some yellow chives here. Okay. Yellow chives. Did you come through the this aisle already and didn't and then, like you didn't get no, any vegetables? What did you, what, what is that, what's this? Did you just literally go outside and just pull those from a cactus tree? No, I wish. We have to pay for this. Do well, you even know how to make this? No, I'm not making it. It's for my beauty stuff. You take out the inside of it, and then you put it all over your face. All right, I'll let her do what she wants to do. She knows beauty better than me. All right, so mushrooms. I love these little packs of mushrooms now. One of my faves. Let's get a white one. We never have enough mushrooms. We'll get one, get one of these babies here. You never get enough mushroom. See what else they got here that I haven't seen before. Uh, mm, nothing interesting there. Nothing interesting there. Well, that's different. Dried duck. I'm wondering if it tastes like a regular duck, but one that just is dehydrated. Interesting. Okay. The meat section. And this is where you're gonna find stuff that you don't think you can find as well, like you know, beef tripe. It that just says beef honeycomb. Don't be fooled, it's tripe. Tripe looks a bit like honeycomb. Beef hind shank. Uh, I know they use that in Filipino dishes. Very delish. All right, 
going down the dry aisle because I've run out of dried mushrooms, shiitake style mushrooms. And this is the bomb. Why do you want to get dried versus fresh? Because once you dry shiitake mushrooms, the flavor gets super intense. The umami, umami flavor as it pops in your mouth. That's the trick, y'all. That's how you get the pop of flavor in your mouth. All right. What is this? Leek sauce. Hmm? Want to try? Babe, you love leeks, right? But now in sauce form. Don't look at the color, which I admit looks like baby throw up. We can try. You want to try? For fried rice? I don't know. But we buying it, we eating the whole thing. <laughs> this color is so questionable. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna do it. Yeah. Okay. We'll try it. This color here, look at that. Mmm. Vibrant baby puke. Which is something that's always stuck in my mind because I remember when my little cousin Johnny was a little baby and he threw up, it came out all green like this once. So I'm like, that's the imagery I get now when I see something like this. I'm sure my adult cousin Johnny now wouldn't appreciate me sharing that, but too late. All right. Um, we do need to get sesame now because the one we got is uh, old. And this is the problem by like when they sell you sesame that is like this much, like, it eventually goes bad, but you can't get them any smaller. Well, actually, right there. Come on, John. you can't get any smaller than this. Even. This is a lot. Actually, in fact, I don't think we got this size. We got this size, got right? That, that size. So even this is too much. All right, so I'm going to get one that's already pre-roasted here. Like that, pre-roasted. Once it's pre-roasted... Fresh. You can't smell. Mm, smells good. New We do need some new tools. Mmm. How about the wonton stuff? A new tools. Right. Isn't that cool? There's so many. Like, Asian people don't give enough credit for noodles, right? Because, you know, Italians, to get that market corner with the pasta. But there's a lot of different kinds of noodles you'll find in Asian grocery stores. But the new tills I want is ramen. I didn't see the ramen. Oh, wait a minute. Dun, 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 dun. Ramen! All right, instant noodles. Which kinds do I want today? I love trying different kinds of instant noodles. And I feel like every year, there's new ones that come out all the time. Like, like when I was growing up, I just thought, I thought instant noodles was a Chinese thing. And then I was like, wait a minute, ramen? Japanese? And now you got Korean style ramen, which is usually very, very intensely mm, spicy. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try something else. I haven't seen this kind before. With tuna and soybean sauce? I'm trying that. We're trying that. Something new right there. And uh, let's see if we get one more. Okay, we can try. How about this one? Spice of beef. Right there. All right. Oh, by the way. These fishies here. You always see fresh fish out and about in a Chinese grocery store. One dollar for live oysters. It's a pretty good deal, I think. Ooh. All right, there's my baby. more plentiful that you're going to see in life than cereal in a cereal aisle in an American grocery store is instant noodle in the instant noodle aisle in an Asian grocery store. So many kinds of flavors. 
growing up, I thought, mmm, there's only one kind of instant noodles, the Chinese kind. And then I realized, wait a minute, ramen, Japanese, I didn't piece that together. And now you got Korean style instant noodles, which are like super spicy. All right, today we're going to try to get two new kinds I've never had before. One is called tuna and soybean. I honestly don't know what it is. It's not tuna like tuna fish. It's T-O-O-N-A. Anybody oh. knows what this is? Let me know. I, I'm, it looks like black bean sauce to me. If it is, oh, it's going to be good. And then uh, a classic taste, which is spicy beef. Like mm. One of my favorites. Lady, you're black in the aisle. Babe, do you not think we have enough useless jars at home? Oh, not useless. I use them a lot. This one, I'll put some of my vitamins. All right, TL. Not going to question that. What else do they got around here that's typical of an Asian grocery store? Dried everything. Dried fish, dried shrimp. Actually, I do need to buy some meat. Yeah, some dried shrimp. So the beauty of dried shrimp is that it's very intense flavor as well. Uh, you put this in the stir fry and the delish, flavor is delish. Do that. Damn, woman. The big finale here, rice, bags of rice. This is how Asian people buy rice. I'm always, I always call this part of the Asian grocery store the workout aisle because you need to work out to be able to haul these babies off. So what's this? It's a little restaurant here in the little corner and, and uh, there's a good amount of people here. Yeah, it'd be nice. Is this the... And all Asian people, this place must be legit. Shoot, come eat here again sometime. They come back here. And the finale here. This is the seafood section. For the cold chilling, yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty much good. What's that for, baby? Is that for you to apply makeup on now that you're older? You have to put a lot more of it on at once. No, <laughs> don't be, don't be funny. <laughs> All done. I know, and that's like one hour, baby. Now it's two seconds. Now we're gonna try this bedtime oil. Ooh, hey, you know me. I love baby oil and everything. <laughs> I'm gonna use it all over my body. Mm, I need it in some body parts as well, baby. Oh, you too. Mm -hmm. That's how I stay youthful. <laughs> I don't need no soy sauce. I got enough sauces. I probably got like 40 bottles of oyster sauce at home because, you know, pandemic. I actually thought I might run out. Overbought. Ooh, this is new. I haven't seen this. Kind of snappy car. Got potato strip. Mmm. Winking at me. That tells me I gotta buy. Back. Let's check out the snack aisle. It's been a while. Actually, has I was just in a snack aisle ten minutes ago in another place. Mm, what do they got here? It's worth trying out. Oh, do, 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 do. I did see this. I wanted to try this ham and cheese. 
Mm -hmm. You've had this? Yeah. That's a Filipino cheese chips. Filipino has ham and cheese chips? Okay. So I guess that means no, we don't get it? No, we get it. I like it. I like, I like <laughs> Filipino chips. No, barbecue's too American. I want things that are different. That one's different. What is that? Chicharron. We have chicharron. It, unless it's chicharron chips. Yes. Oh. So chicharron chips. Okay. It's not real meat chicharron. All right, y'all. That's it. Tour of this Asian grocery store that we haven't been to before. Uh, some new stuff here is pretty cool. Check out our other tours. Uh, peace out. And yes, UFC even has their own sauce. The Ultimate Fighting Championship has their own banana sauce. And I heard that if you eat this sauce, it makes your banana strong. <laughs> so you're talking about different UFC and banana. <laughs> what the heck? I know. When I saw that, I was thinking Fifty Shades of Grey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a toy that we can have some fun with. What the hell? I actually, I was thinking of drawing. This is so perfect. I was thinking of grilling the fish that I picked for today. Okay, well, double purpose, but can we use it as a toy first before we put fish on it? Because, well, actually, I guess it's going to smell like fish either way. This is, but how do you use this for toys? <laughs> this is like for spanking. No! Uh, 